Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, looking at phonics. A lot of these ideas are taken from Constance Weaver, who wrote an outstanding book, Reading Process and Practice, which describes a psycholinguistic approach to understanding reading. And we will begin to kind of unpack these ideas. However, what is commonly thought, if children have reading problems, you simply need to give them more phonics. People think the answer to reading problems is phonics because that's the only answer that they know. But it is not the only answer and it is not the best answer. Sometimes it's the worst answer. Defining our terms, phonics is learning to associate letters and sounds. However, when we read, we use not one, but three types of the cueing system. Cueing means we cue the brain, we're reading along, and oh, that's what that word is. We use syntax, which is the grammar of the sentence, the word order, the function of the word, and word endings all help us understand or recognize words. Semantics, meaning what makes sense within the context of the sentence, within the context of the book, etc. And graphophonemic, letters, graphic, phonemic, sound cues, putting letters in sounds, which is commonly known as phonics. However, efficient readers, those who read well, use very few letter cues. Inefficient readers use more letter cues. So, by teaching our children to focus on individual letters and sounds, we teach them to become more inefficient readers. We would rather have them focus on ideas and sentences than individual letters and sounds. And we will unpack this a little bit, but note that the information processing model. When we read text, we focus on individual letters. These letters go to short-term memory, which has a very limited capacity. From here, it goes to long-term memory, but it's a two-way flow because what we have, what we know, helps us perceive things in the text to see the context. What we know helps us to make sense of the text and then to store it. Now, I can hold seven letters. That's not very much because this is a very limited space. I could hold seven words. That's a little bit more. Or I could hold seven ideas, which is more yet. By teaching children to focus on individual letters, we make them more efficient because we give them, we clog up the short-term memory. That's not a good thing. We want to make it as efficient as possible. So why, I ask you, why would you insist that teaching only letter-sound relationships to beginning readers is the best way to help them learn? If you know anything about literacy, you would not. End part one.